This is a look inside the Warhawks with Whitewater Warhawks head men's basketball coach Jared Wixer. A look inside the Warhawks is brought to you by American Family Insurance Agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Burtness Chevrolet Buick GMC in Whitewater. Coach Wixer, you had a strong finish to your 2023 half of the season. You went to that River Falls Radisson Holiday Classic, beat North Central 95-74 and beat Northland 105. 571. Yeah, no doubt, Don. I think that's one thing that I, I like about this team is the versatility that we have and the depth that we have, especially on the offensive end. You know, we have a lot of things we're trying to clean up still. Pretty efficient group. We move the ball well. And we have guys that can score inside and outside. Opportunity to get some of your bench guys some quality minutes, which has to be really important heading into your conference schedule starting up here. It is very important. And honestly, that's been one of the biggest challenges this year is because we have so much talent on our bench. You know, we have a wonderful group of freshmen and it's just difficult for them to to see the floor because of how many returning guys we have that have played significant minutes and are just a, a little more developed than them. Anytime we can get those guys looks in games, I really appreciate those opportunities to teach them and work with them and evaluate them. And they've done a great job with, with scout stuff and staying engaged in practice. And I think it's really important for those guys to get those opportunities opportunities. You just talked about a lot of your bench strength, but I kind of want to turn the focus to a new face, but one that has been in your starting lineup for every game. James Kelly, guy who played some Juco basketball, played some D2 basketball at a couple of different places, and now the Milwaukee product that went to St. John's Northwestern Military Academy decided, I guess, to play a little bit closer to home and come join the Warhawks. What does he bring to this team? James is a a wonderful young man, and that's a funny story, kind of how you went through his journey, because I joke with James a lot that I've had to recruit him for about four years now. I mean, I recruited him out of high school, and then uh, after JUCO, and then once we found out he was going to be transferring, we just, you know, we stayed in touch throughout. We've always had a a great relationship, so I'm really glad that, that we have James for this season. As I said to start, he's a wonderful young man, and he's one of those guys that I was talking about early on that brings a lot of versatility. He's strong, he's got good size, he's athletic, and he's He's skilled and quick enough to put it down from the perimeter. He's a guy that I'm really excited heading into conference play. I'm excited to see what what he's going to be capable of because I think we're, we're going to have a lot. You know, our league is very good, as you know, and a lot of teams are going to be big and physical. And I think James can present some matchup problems for opponents. You know, do they try to go a little more big and physical with him and he's able to move around a little better and get by guys or they try to put a smaller guy on him to guard him from the perimeter and we're able to put him inside and, and attack that way. So, Coach, I I have to ask, when you've been kind of following a guy that long and and recruiting him that many times, do you get a pin when you finally land him, when he finally joins the Warhawk team? Yeah, yeah, I I do. I do. I was very excited when we finally had enough, when I found out that James was going to be coming. For me, it was just, I thought he'd be a good fit for us, obviously on the court, but also off the court. He approaches things the right way, takes care of his body, works hard in the weight room. So we've developed a pretty strong culture the last three to four years, and I thought James James would not only fit with that, but I thought he would enhance that as well. For transparency for folks out there, we record these on Wednesday morning, so you have Oshkosh coming up, but then on Saturday, we'll focus on the Eau Claire game, your second conference game. What do you need to do to pull out a couple of wins or a a big win against Eau Claire? Both of the opponents this week are tough, as like I said earlier, is is everyone else in our league. But anytime we're we're at home down, we really put an emphasis on defending our home court. You know, we have to make sure that we're playing at the Williams Center inside Catchell Gymnasium, that we're taking care of business. Both teams this week, ironically enough, they really, really shoot the ball well from three. And so that is going to be our our emphasis and our key throughout the week. They get to those shots differently. Claire runs a lot of spread, ball screen action, really try and space the floor. And they've got four to five guys on the floor all the time that can shoot it from three. For us, like I talked about earlier, we're we're pretty efficient offensively. You know, we just want to make sure we're trying to drive down three-point attempts for our opponents and try and make them beat us from two. Whitewater Warhawks men's basketball Saturday against Eau Claire, 5 o'clock, the Williams Center. You can catch them. This has been a look inside the Warhawks with Whitewater Warhawks head men's basketball coach Jared Wixer. A look inside the Warhawks was brought to you by American Family Insurance agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Burtness Chevrolet Buick GMC in Whitewater. Right here on 104.5 WSLD.